Alright everybody, what's up? Welcome back. We've got a little TDM here on Havana. And in case you missed it, Sledgehammer officially announced, Sledgehammer Games officially announced today on their Twitter page that they are in fact making the next Call of Duty for 2014. It is not going to be Treyarch. And look at these two noobs right here. Get on, baby. Uh, sit down, son. Two piece with the ballistic knives. And what do you guys think about that, man? Now, if you don't know, if you don't remember, Sledgehammer helped Infinity Ward finish MW3. Now, Infinity Ward was making MW3, and they were going through a whole bunch of legal problems and shit. Zampella and West dipped. And Sledgehammer came in to help them finish that game, MW3. And, you know, hey... I thought it was a horrible game, multiplayer-wise. The campaign was pretty fun. I thought the multiplayer was really, really bad, <laughs> especially after they put the Sitrep Pro buff in. I mean, yeah, dudes with blind eye, assassin, a Sitrep Pro, duck walking all over the place with silenced guns. I mean, it was, it was bad. It was just such a campy game, and that's why I hated it. You had to play so campy and defensive in that game. It sucked. So... Look at this dude trying to two of me, get on, baby. Are you kidding me? I got a flat jacket on, son. So I shanked that dude. And you know what, man? A lot of us were looking forward to Triarch's next game. A lot of us thought that, you know, World at War II was going to be coming out. We were all excited because there was so many hints that Triarch was going back to a World War II shooter. And maybe they will. They still might. They still might because Triarch's game is coming out in 2015. Uh, it was announced today that Call of Duty is going to be de developed in three years. Uh, <clears throat> three three development teams, each taking three years to make the game, which is good because I don't know if you guys remember, but back when Von Dehar used to talk to me on Twitter before I, uh, and you know, I don't blame Von. Sit down, raw skills. I got the raw skills right here, baby. Tactical Mobilization Pro, son. Calling the Blackbird. That dude, raw skills, actually a good player. He's like a two something KD player. Famas tryhard. Using a tomahawk knives, too. Uh, this dude's just a beast. But he got owned. <laughs> I just. <laughs> I just owned him in this match. Uh, if you guys remember, man, me and Vondahar used to actually talk on Twitter before I just absolutely went nuts on him for putting Second Chance in the game. This is before Second Chance really drove me crazy. I don't know if you guys remember, back in the day, I used to complain about Second Chance a lot. <laughs> it's because it's just the worst perk ever, and it completely ruined this game. I mean, can you imagine how much better Black Ops 1 would have been if they just didn't have Second Chance in here? Oh, oh it would have been so much better, dude. <laughs> so, get the Kujos. But Von Hart told me on Twitter, he goes, hey man, ideally, oh, so now baby, ideally a Call of Duty game should be three years, three years to develop. And it looks like Activision is listening to Von Dehar because that's what they're doing. They got Sledgehammer Games, Triarch, and Infinity Ward all in a three-year rotation. This dude trying to tube me. Get on, son. Get on. The tubes don't work, baby. You can't use the bitch barrels. I'm making my flak jacket pro. And I, I've been loving this loadout, guys. I've been back on Black Ops 1, and this is a loadout I've been using just about every time. Uh, slight of Hand Pro, um, not Slight of Steady Aim Pro, Flat Jacket Pro, and Ninja Pro. I've been loving this shit, dude. I've been loving this shit. Oh! My Cujo took that dude out. I thought he was going to go left. He went right. Cujo cleaned him up. So, <laughs> Sledgehammer, man. I Listen, I know that... I mean, we've never played a real Sledgehammer game before, right, guys? Because Sledgehammer came in at the end of the MW3 development, helped finish the game. I mean, we don't know how much of that game was Infinity Ward or how much of it was Sledgehammer. So, Sledgehammer's had three full years now to work on this game. And it's going to be for the next generation. It's, uh, they're developing the next generation of Call of Duty. And they said, expect new and exciting things. And look at this, look at this. Oh, my God. <laughs> Get fucking beasted. Ah. God, I hate second chance. <laughs> Hey, I can't get mad though. I can't get mad. The game's too old for me to get mad. Whatever. Just keep playing. <laughs> Fuck it. Ah! <laughs> See? That's why Von Hart don't talk to me anymore, man. Because I flipped out on him. Von, I don't blame you for not talking to me anymore. But you can't blame me for being mad at Second Chance. I mean, why, what the fuck were you thinking, dude? Anyway, anyway. Anyway, look at that dude raw skills with the Tomahawks, man. What a tryhard. That dude's a beast. <laughs> I think he even Tomahawks my ass, too. That was a bad place for me to lay prone. And this was a horrible chopper gunner, guys. Where's Raw Skills at? Come on, there you go. Raw Skills hits me with the tomahawk and kills me. <laughs> you fucking beast. This was a horrible uh, chopper gunner. That's why I'm speeding it up. So this is good for Call of Duty. The game has three years to develop. Hopefully they make it good. And uh, like I said, dude, I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting three years for a game to come out if it's going to be good. And fortunately, we don't have to wait three years because they got three different teams working on the games now. 
And look, man, they're saying they're developing the next Call of Duty 2014 for the next gen. Now, I don't know if that means it's going to come out on 360 or PS3, or if it's just going to be made exclusively for the next gen consoles. Who knows, right? Uh, because eventually, they got to stop making games for 360 and PS3 because the new consoles are here. <laughs> don't make any sense to make games for the 360 PS3 anymore. They're going to make games for the new consoles, so... You know, hopefully the game will have real dedicated servers. <laughs> real dedicated servers on next gen. Hopefully the death streaks will be gone. Because the death streaks were bad. I mean, death streaks haven't come back in a while. And let's give Sledgehammer a chance here, guys. Now, no matter what Sledgehammer does, no matter how good they make this game, we all know that there's one thing no developer can change, and that's this community, dude. That's this community. This community sucks. <laughs> this Call of Duty community sucks. Come on in, bitches. Yeah, get on. <laughs> a little tactical immobilization right here, fellas. I'm just telling these dudes to come on in. Come on in, son. Oh, you got second chance? I know. You stay outside. You stay outside with that shit. There you go. Stay outside. I'm calling the Blackbird. And I tried to get the game winning kill right here, jumping off the window, but somebody beat me to it. God damn it. So anyway, guys, Sledgehammer, I guess they're not making that MMO. And I'm glad about that because that shit sounded whack. Who the hell wants to play a Call of Duty MMO, man? Let the Skyrim folk handle that shit. Call of Duty, stick to what you do. Make that MW4. And that's probably the game that's going to come out, MW4. There you go, guys. This is a score 37-2. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to smack that like button. I'll see you guys on the next one.